I go out for lunch all the time because <laughs> I hate to cook because I'm a single person. I, I make sure I go out every day to do something, even if it's just popping in the charity shop and the post office or the library. I've got to be careful that I don't end up on a Sunday afternoon um, sitting having Sunday lunch by myself. <laughs> You've got to take care of that one. And are there days where you really don't feel like going out? Absolutely. There's that days off where, um, where you've just got to say, this is one of the days where you're not going to be doing all the brilliant things that you think you should be doing. You've just got to accept that it's time to take it slow. At some point you're going to bounce back, so not to be too hard on yourself, I think. Mm. Uh, we've just gone past the Fun restaurant. Pack. I'm not very good at multitasking. <laughs> it's not too busy. One of the things I learned with the Parkinson's, I, I said, where would I really like to be and what would I like to be doing? And I thought, the first on my list was to be a bit close to my family. You know, I just felt I need a proper base that's mine, something constant, like my family. In two weeks, I'd packed, and then after that, I came home to Halifax and basically started a new life. My old school friends turned up and really embraced me, and I found new friends. It was just very exciting. You're very comfortable in telling people about your condition. Was mm. that always the case? No, I had to learn. I had to make lots of mistakes. I'd say I have Parkinson's. It affects him in this, these particular ways. But I can handle it. I, I'm handling it myself. So if I, if I want some assistance, I will ask for that. I was in an airport, and I had a bottle of water and I was sitting there for five minutes trying to take the cap off. I mean, I just couldn't do it. And I had to kind of turn to the next person who was Italian and go like this. And he had this little pencil moustache and he took the bottle and went like that and I opened it and gave it back. Why struggle? Why? We're here for each other. We, we tend to think that we have to do it all for ourselves. And that doesn't make sense. You're okay where you are in any situation. You can belong anywhere. It already feels very tight and it's getting smaller and tired. What I realized is that if I just to start drawing from any point, that I can actually enjoy what movement I have. I think it takes a lot though to move from a family home where you've been for like 30 or two years. What's it been like moving? Well, it was a little bit of a readjustment required. I was really down for a couple of days still having to see the children and I got an emotional boost. Mm. It was wonderful. <laughs>